dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. Hello everybody and welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Teacher Missy. And we are so, 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 so excited that you are here with us today. Now, Teacher Missy, before we start talking about that <laughs> so adorable thing we're going to talk about today, should we sing? Let's sing. All right, here we go. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? Get your clappers ready, whatever you're going to clap. Remember, it doesn't have to be your hands. You can clap anything you want. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I so am looking forward to the stories you brought today. So, Teacher Missy, what do you want to talk about? Well, I have a yard full of these little critters. Do you know what that is, Miss Tracy? It looks like a rabbit. It is a rabbit. And what's another word we use for rabbit? We call them bunnies. Yeah, we call them bunnies, and I don't know why. Um, if that was just a nickname given to them. Yeah. Because I think for children, that's more commonly called a bunny. Sure, you call it a bunny instead of a rabbit. I'm trying to think if there's a hare. Oh, a hare. And actually, a hare and a rabbit, I think, are two different, slightly different animals. But they're, right, they're kind of in the same family. Absolutely. And it's not yeah. this kind of hare. No, it's no. this kind of hare. Yeah. So it's spelled a little different. I think they might be bigger. I'm not sure. But they're very adorable to watch. And my <laughs> dog loves them. Absolutely. My dog Jack likes to look at the rabbits. <laughs> So, Teacher Missy, do you have any good books about rabbits? I just might have a one hopping around somewhere. <laughs> oh, Miss Tracy, yes, I have an awesome book this morning to I'm read. I'm so excited. Is it about bunnies? It is about bunnies and bunnies and raindrops. Oh, I hmm. can't wait. Bunnies and Raindrops by Jim Arnosky. And this book comes to us. He did the pictures and the writing. And it comes to us from Puffin Books. And we're going to see about these bunnies. I wonder what they're doing with raindrops. Mother Rabbit sits by her nest under a hedge at the edge of a green lawn. Look at her. There she is. This kind of looks like my yard. Her five babies are ready to climb out of the nest for the first time. Oh, I bet they're excited. I bet she's excited. <laughs> Mother Rabbit hops out into the bright sunlight onto the green grass. One after another, the five baby rabbits hop out onto the lawn. There they go. One, two, three, four, and five. That's a lot of babies to keep track of. They nibble clover, blossoms, and leaves. They meet grasshoppers, spiders, and bees. All of a sudden, the sky turns dark uh -oh. and big, heavy raindrops begin to fall. Plop, plop. Oh, plop, plop is right. One's going to get it right on his nose. Oh, look, he got one right on his head. Or she, I don't know what they are. Can't tell they don't wear ribbons. A rabbit's fur is not waterproof. Baby rabbits can become soaked and catch cold. So Mother Rabbit hurries her babies back under the hedge. Oh. 
from their dry shelter, five baby rabbits watch the rain pouring down. Here they are, one, two, three, four, and five. They have a good shelter there, Miss Tracy. It doesn't even rain inside. That's great. Isn't that awesome? I like our house is a good shelter for us. Right, when it rains, that's what we do. We go inside. A butterfly flutters in under the hedge and rests on a dry leaf. There's the butterfly. Soon others come in out of the rain. Well, now they're getting company. Wonder what this is. Anybody know? <laughs> You're right, it's a hummingbird. And I think there's a little mouse and maybe a cricket. Wow, lots of things are getting out of the rain. Out in the shower, honeybees buzz by, flying between raindrops to stay dry. Suddenly, the shower ends, and the last few raindrops splatter down. Oh, the turtle got one. Oops, I'm kind of twisted here. All together, the rabbits hop out onto the lawn. There they go. One, two, three, four, five. Still have five baby rabbits. They still have five baby rabbits. To taste the wet grass and play rabbit tag in the sun. Oh, I bet that's fun. You could try playing rabbit tag at home. Yeah, you could. Rabbits and raindrops. Hey, story time friends. Hey, teacher Missy. Yes, ma'am. Are you ready to do a flannel board? <laughs> Born ready. All right. So story time friends, if you notice on the board, we have some bunny rabbits. Should we count them? One, two, three, four, and five. We have five bunny rabbits. And we actually were going to do a little poem about bunnies because I really like saying this one. But we're also going to kind of speak in a different language. And that language is the language of numbers. After we do our poem, we're going to use our numbers to write a number story about the bunnies. Okay? You'll catch on after the first one. And this is how our poem goes. It goes, hippity hop and hippity hey. Five little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hey. One little bunny hopped away. Now, story time friends, if you remember, what was the number of bunnies we started with? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna choose our number five here. And I'm gonna put up, it's called a symbol, and this one is a subtraction symbol. So if we had five bunnies, how many bunnies hopped away? That's right, one did. Do you see the number one up here? Yep, there it is. So we had five bunnies, and we took one away. I'm going to put him right, I'll put him down here where he buried the dinosaur. And we're gonna put another symbol up here. And this symbol is equals. And all this symbol says is if you have this symbol, whatever you put here is the exact same thing as whatever you put here. Equals means the same. So we have five, we say minus. So can you say that with me? Five minus one equals Story time, friends, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five rabbits minus one who hopped away equals, how many rabbits, teacher Missy? I believe that is four. That's right. And that's exactly what our number story says. Five minus one equals four. That's exactly how we said five bunnies minus one bunny 
It's four bounds. Wow. All right, here we go again. Hippity hop and hippity hay. Four little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay. One little bunny hopped away. All right, friends, how many bunnies did we have to start out with? One, two, three, four. We didn't have five anymore. Can you say the number sentence with me? Four minus one equals, remember equals means it's the same. So four minus one is another way of saying what number? One, two, three. We had four bunnies and one hopped away, and now we have three bunnies. That is excellent, excellent brain work, my friends. All right, how many bunnies do we have left up here? One, two, three. So let's get our three over here. Hippity hop and hippity hay. Three little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay. What happened? That's right. One little bunny hopped away. So we had one, two, three bunnies, friends, and we took one away. How many do we have left now? One, two. Nice job! Can you read this number story with me? Three minus one equals two. Two. We have two left. Now, let's get our number story ready when we start with the two. Okay. Hippity hop and hippity hay, two little bunnies went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay, one little bunny hopped away. How many bunnies went out to play? That's right, two. And one hopped away. And here we go. Uh-oh, I need another number one. Two minus one equals, what do we have left? We have one bunny. And I think my other number one fell out. So we're just gonna do that. Two minus one is one. Now, story time friends, how many bunnies do we have left? That's right, we have one bunny. So we're gonna move our one over here. We're gonna see what happens when that bunny runs away. Are you ready? Hippity hop and hippity hay. One little bunny went out to play. Hippity hop and hippity hay. No more bunnies are playing today. And now we have the number zero. So story time friends, we started out with, I'm not gonna put bunnies up there yet. We started out with how many bunnies? Remember when we had five bunnies? One, two, three, four, five. And then what happened? All five bunnies went away. So five bunnies minus five bunnies equals no bunnies. No bunnies. Thanks for playing. Miss Tracy, yes, I yes. have a great book this morning. I'm excited to hear it. What do you suppose it's about? Maybe hopefully a bunny. It is about a bunny. Absolutely. And it is about a hungry bunny. Oh. Hmm, what does a hungry bunny do, I wonder? Hungry Bunny by Claudia Rueda. And it comes to us from Chronicle Books. And we're going to find out about this hungry bunny. Here I come. Grrr. Oh, grr. I wonder what that is. Oh, can you hear my tummy rumble? I am one hungry bunny. Grr. Does your stomach do that when you're hungry? 
It's time for a red delicious and, oh, hard to reach apples. Yeah, he's under an apple tree, but it doesn't look like you can quite reach them. He's trying. Maybe you could help me. Could you please shake the book so that the apples fall down? Well, let's try that. Okay. Hmm. I don't see any apples. Just still in the tree. Oh, not the leaves. C could you blow them away? Well, let's try that. <sighs> we think they're going to go? Oh no, my scarf is blown away too. Oh, it's stuck in the book. And, and I'm still hungry. Look at it, it's way up here. Look at his face, I don't think he's very happy. Could you help me grab my scarf? Let's grab it. Is it coming out? Hmm, don't see. Will you place the scarf here and hold it tight, then I can use it to climb the tree and pick those tasty apples. So he's going to use his scarf. That's pretty smart. Just one more. Look at he's putting them in the wagon that he's got with him. Hmm. Those apples look good, don't they? Great teamwork. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? Let's see, where is it? Yeah, I think I can hold on to it. Might be up a little too high for me to reach right now. <gasps> Whoops, I'm running late. What an uphill battle. Oh, I gotta go up the hill. Look at him trying, trying, trying that. That's a lot of apples to haul uphill. Yes, it is. Okay. Wait a minute. Why? Why am I going uphill? Hmm. Why is he going uphill? That makes it much harder, doesn't it? Can you fix that? Can you tilt the book for me? Let's tilt it this way. I wonder what's going to happen now. We got it tilted. That means to turn it. Easy as pie. Now my wheels are turning, and there he goes down the hill. Woohoo! Why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock the book back and forth? There he's rocking, rocking, rocking. I wonder what's going to happen to that wagon. Rock, 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 rock. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Zowie, keep going! And get ready to turn, turn. There they go. Turn, turn. Look at, look at him go. Look at him. Woo! My goodness. My goodness. That was a zippy ride. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get ready to tumble. Oops. I guess I upset the apple cart. Where are all the apples? Uh-oh, what happened? Yep, there's a rock. Oh, and look, a broken wagon. And where are all the apples? Where are they? Here they are. I'll just pick these up. There he goes. I wonder what he's gonna do with them. The wagon's broken. On the road again, but but what's this? Look, there he comes to the edge, and there's the other edge, and he cannot walk across there. Hmm, what will he do? He's thinking it through. <gasps> hey, I think I'm gonna need some help. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? Look at, there's his scarf. What do you suppose he's gonna do with that now? Perfect, perfect, thank you. Oh, I'm at the end of my rope. Good thing I'm almost home. There's his little house. Oh, there's his bunny hole. Oh, 
I'm stuck. Could you give me a little push? <laughs> push, 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 and pop! Right on time for mom's apple pie. Look at, they're all carrying apples to her and she's making the pie. That sounds very good. That's a good thing to eat for breakfast, apple pie. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Yum, here's her pie on the table. That is a great book and they saved a piece for you. We saved a piece. They saved a piece for you, Miss Tracy. Yay, I love apple pie. Me too. Oh, that hungry bunny solved his problem. Hey, story time, friends. Hey, teacher Missy. Yes. We are gonna do a scarf song in just a moment. But first, I wanna teach you a really fun finger play. You learn a finger play. We've done this before. But guess what? We are gonna turn our fingers into a bunny. Can you do that? Can you put your thumb here and just let your fingers kind of, just kind of hook around? And those, of course, are our bunny ears. And this is how it goes. We'll do it two times, okay? Here we go. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is his hole in the ground. Here's my bunny. Here's his hole. The first sound he hears, he pricks up his ears and hops in the hole in the ground. Did you get your bunny into his hole? That's right. They feel safer underground. There's another way you can make a hole too, and we're going to do that the second way. And we're going to pretend that our arm is the hole. Okay, here we go. Here is a bunny with ears so funny. And here is his hole in the ground. You see his hole? At the first sound he hears, he pricks up his ears and hops in his hole in the ground. And there he goes, and he's safe. It's fun using your fingers like that. It's also a really good practice for learning how to write, is using your fingers in all sorts of different ways. So good job. Okay. Let's do some scarfing. Teacher Missy, here is your favorite green scarf. Yes, Boy, we are far away today. Yeah. And here is my favorite red scarf. Now, out of your story time kit, my friends, you can pull out your scarf. If you don't have a scarf, you could use a sock. You could use a washcloth. You could use a paper towel. You could use whatever you wanted to use to wave. All right, so our first song is Excuse me? Are, oh, of course. Story time, friends. Tiger would like to join us today. Oh, did you miss me? Good morning, Tiger. Oh, story time, friends. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. Tiger, I think, especially loves to hear scarf songs. All right, Tiger, so you hang out here. Hello again, Teacher Missy. Good morning, Tiger. Good to see you. Thanks. I really like your green scarf. Thank you. It is it delightful. Is Isn't it delightful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good word to say. Can you say delightful? Delightful. Delightful. Okay. Right. Okay. So, friends. Got your scarf? The first one we are going to sing is called on my head, I wear a scarf. And we've done this, but it was a lot, it was probably almost two years ago since we've done this one. And that's just another a scarf warm up we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend that our scarf is a scarf that we wear. And it starts out like this. On my head, I wear a scarf. It is such a silly scarf that my head wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else could my silly scarf go? How about, can you put it on your elbow? That's not easy. Can you move your arm like that and say, On my elbow I wear my scarf. 
It is such a silly scarf that my elbow wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else could my silly scarf go? How about, can you put your scarf on your knees? You can, I'm going to drape it on my knees. I'm going to hold it up a little bit to make sure you guys can see it, but here we go. On my knees, I wear my scarf. It is such a silly scarf that my knees wiggle waggle to and fro. Where else could my silly scarf go? How about on your arm? That's a good spot. Can you wrap your scarf or your paper towel or whatever on your arm? Here we go. On my arm, I wear my scarf. It is such a silly scarf that my arm wiggle waggles to and fro. Where else can my silly scarf go? And you guys can continue silly scarfing all day long if you want. Think of other places you could put it on your toes, on your nose, lots of places for your scarf. All right, now our scarf is going to turn into what do you guess? I mean, a scarf just looks like a bunny. Okay. Just exactly. So, first of all, our bunny is going to hop slow. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you ever see a bunny, a bunny, a bunny? Did you ever see a bunny that hops so slow? It hops and hops and hops and hops. Did you ever see a bunny that hops so slow? Such slow hoppers. And now, I think that teacher Missy's dog, Jack, is looking out the window and the bunny sees it. And what yes. do you think the bunny's gonna do? Are you ready? Here we go. Did you ever see a bunny, a bunny, a bunny? Did you ever see a bunny that hops so fast? It hops and hops and hops and hops. Did you ever see a bunny that hops so fast? Whoa! Goodness. That was some, that was some fast hopping. Do you think the bunny eventually hopped into its hole in the ground? It might have. How about our bunny, have you ever seen a bunny kind of hop in circles? Let's make our bunny hop in circles. Did you ever see a bunny, a bunny, a bunny? Did you ever see a bunny that hops in circles? It hops and hops and hops and hops. Did you ever see a bunny that hops in circles? Whoa, and now, what happens if you had a super speedy super bunny? Our super bunny is gonna hop so high. Maybe he's even gonna hop so high, he flies all by himself. I don't know, let's find out. Did you ever see a bunny, a bunny, a bunny? Did you ever see a bunny that hops so high? It hops and hops and hops and hops. Did you ever see a bunny that hops so high? Whew. And now I think my bunny would like to take a nap. Thanks for playing. Teacher Missy, what a great time I had today. I know, wasn't this just so much fun? We did some math stories without the extra number one. I know, I'm gonna have to go find it. And then we learned about how the rabbits behave in the rain and how they, they stay warm and dry. And Hungry Bunny! Did Hungry Bunny finally get the apple? Mm -hmm. I think Hungry Bunny did. But now my friends, I think it's time to say goodbye. Would you sing with us? Okay. Are you ready, Teacher Missy? I am so ready. Here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time.
time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Look for bunnies.